Welcome back to my channel, guys. I know I've been missing for like you know you know you know yeah, I know like how my banner on my channel says like I'm gonna be here every week. Yeah, that's a lie. That's a. F what happened was like, they're working on the roof. Like people don't know how my house looks like, um, and those who do, like we stay in like in a in a double story house. My bedroom is upstairs, and literally I wake up every single day of the freaking week to people stomping on literally on top of my head using a jackhammer on the roof yeah so they're reshaping the roof and whatever um and it's just been impossible to shoot anything because the sound and the noise and the so i'm finally back <laughs> you guys don't know me my name is Yalim. hi hello nice to meet you on the beautiful desert rose of this channel and today we are doing something that i have always wanted to do which is kind of the reason why i actually started my channel um, and doing makeup, um, but I've been hesitant in doing so because a people don't act, don't aren't really aware of the style of makeup, and b they won't really understand why I'm doing this because it's not very mainstream. Well, I mean it's not mainstream here in Africa. I mean it's mainstream everywhere else in the world because they are more exposed. I would just I would suppose, but yeah. Today I am going to be doing Korean style makeup on black skin, like. I always wanted to try this because I feel like Asian girls always have like the prettiest like makeup looks It's like so understated but so pretty at the same time So I always wanted to do it instead of just always doing like this major overly in your face glam looks So without any further ado, let's get into this makeup look So if any of y'all don't know what Korean style makeup is, it's basically It's very um natural looking toned down makeup Like it's not really it's bright, like it can be really bright and in your face, but it's not glam fashion, but bam, sham, zam, like but we in the West do like, you know, the cut crease and the glitters and the highlights and the whoa. It's so different where even like the orientation of like shadow is like placed differently. So yeah, I'm gonna try doing that today, even though my eyebrows are not done. But that's fine, that's cool, that's okay. I already popped in my contacts because you know. We're blind like that. So I'm gonna be like following a guide from like pictures, reference photos that I found from Pinterest. I see a lot of like, cur I follow a lot of, I save a lot of like, what am I saying? I save a lot of like Korean makeup, like pictures or tutorials on like Instagram because they just fascinate me and they, I think they look so pretty. So I don't know. The one I'm gonna do is like this. I don't know if you guys can see. What I'm gonna do is either like this one or I'm gonna do or I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna follow it as close as possible like they even show like how you freaking <laughs> how even the orientation of the of the makeup itself oh hello Jungkook <laughs> so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do like a peach orangey inspired makeup look and we'll take it from there so the base for like a lot of like these makeup these makeup <laughs> the base style for this style of makeup is very very Natural they don't really put on a lot of product on their They don't really put a lot of product on their face um, Also, then again, they have like press like compact foundations and stuff like that. So and My wig is not glued down. So if someone comes to comments be like hey, wig is not glued down. I know I know random hair in my ah! I want to get a more like silicone based primer because I feel like it doesn't this this elf one is nice this illuminating from within primer is like very oil based and creamy but I feel like it doesn't fill out all my pores like I want it to I feel like it's just it's leaving a glow to my skin but like it's not doing it's not priming it's not filling in spaces man maybe I also don't put on a lot who knows I'm gonna take a sponge and I'm gonna apply it I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna apply my foundation from Lancome, my Tante I am Idol Ultra Wear foundation. Cause I don't got like hmm, press compact foundations. Huh? We don't have those in my shit. One day I'm actually gonna do like a Korean makeup video, like where I actually do like um, I use Korean makeup products on my skin to see how it works. One day, one day. I'm gonna put literally the smallest amount. Like I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna use two pumps, cause. They really use such minimal makeup on their face. Looks so little! I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I think I'm gonna like add a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna just spray my sponge with like my mist. There's nothing on my face! <laughs> oh my god. Oh 
I feel like I put on nothing. Like, I feel like there's something there, but there's really nothing there. So I'm gonna cheat and just add like a little bit more foundation, just to like cover up a little bit more. I feel like there's not much on my face. I mean, I get it because they want to look natural as possible, but I do not, I feel nothing. Maybe that's the point. Maybe when a guy hugs you, and you look at him be like, like maybe he wants to be like, oh my god, like she literally doesn't do much work when she's at home. Out here trying to look like she woke up like this. Does like, do I do I look do I does my skin look like naturally flawless if I just woke up like this? I hope I do. If I don't, I'll be very upset because this is like I had to go and buy a new concealer because I felt like the Maybelline concealer that I was using is 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 was making me go gray. I decided to go and find a new one, and I found the long coat. I got the L'Oreal in a fallible more than conceal concealer and it's in the shade honey and it's like a proper highlight concealer it's not really like a concealer in my actual skin tone this wand is huge do you see this this is dangerous oh you are creamy I didn't even realize I'm sorry concealer dries down fast so if you're gonna be working you need to work quickly I feel like on camera I look really Golden, but that's fine. Does it match my neck? I don't think it does. <laughs> this one is going wild. I have bush, bush alert. I look like a Sasquatch. My left eyebrow is disgusting. I do not deserve to be in front of you guys. I it doesn't deserve to have rights. Like that's basically what my left eyebrow is like right now. Let's move on to the eye look, shall we? I don't see them priming their eyes as much, but you know, I want to have it. I want it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a cleaner finish, so I'm gonna I'm gonna prime my lids with the concealer. I'm not gonna use the white primer because I feel like it's gonna it's gonna it's not gonna look nice. This thing's thick. Under the eye makeup, <laughs> I was really really like I got to be doing this look for a long time, and I was really worried because I thought people just won't get it and understand why I was interested in doing the style of makeup. And I was also accused of you know I was also worried of being accused of having you know the typical Korea boo. Um, tag on my um, person. Person? <laughs> that sounds official. I was worried that people just think I'm a Korea boo or something. That's which is not really the case because just because I really appreciate it doesn't mean that I want to be Korean. But hey, I'm not gonna deny that there are people out there who really feel like they wanna look and emulate Korean people and Korean culture, which is kind of weird because you're not Asian or Korean, but. I really always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to like explore Korean makeup, K-pop, um, beauty styles and stuff like that. Why am I playing around with my brushes? I'm nervous. If you don't get it, then please like, just like my video, you know, subscribe, spare my content, be a lamb, be great, like. So I'm gonna be using the chocolate orange from iHeart Revolution. And the way the picture looks is like they use a very neutral base shadow on the lid. I'm gonna use like this, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm gonna use this like orange, like this orangey color on my lid. It'll cover their whole lid, like they don't go up till here to their brow bone, they like just stay right here. This is a lot of fallout, like this thing is really really having a lot of fallout, it's it's, it's weird, it usually doesn't do this. It's like a peach, it's like a neutralish peach color-esque situation. I don't know, maybe it's not showing up as much because I concealed, I concealed, I primed my eyes with like um, my concealer instead of like the nude like primer that I usually do it with, but hmm, we'll see. It's like a gentle orange, hmm, I don't mind it as much. I just feel like I'm put, I have to put on a lot to make it show as a base color, but that's just me. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into like a deeper orange. I was about to lift, I was about to lift my phone. To like, isn't Jimin pretty? He's so pretty. Anyway. To go and use it as a mirror. My eye is itching. Oh my god. Okay. It was an eyelash. Oh. Very gentle. The color grading is so gentle. It's the like I want to fall into the impulse and adding more color, but it's I'm gonna go into this orangey brown and just deepen the the insides again. I'm gonna now take a glitter. I'm gonna take this champagne glitter and I'm gonna put it in the center of my eyes. Usually I apply it with their fingers, so I am not I'm not 
I'm not flicking you off. I am so sorry. I am not giving you the finger. I just this is the finger that I use to put on things. I'm sorry. Like I, that's that's not the that's not the case. And then next, I'm gonna go in with a. They do an eyeliner, but first they like smudge it. Like they smudge like darkness along the eye, and then they thingy. They thingy. I'm gonna take like this little brush and I'm gonna wet it. Where's my spray? And then their eyeliner is apparently straight and thin. So I have this like waterproof matte wall, like eyeliner from Maybelline called Lasting Drama. I think the look is done. I don't know. Do I look like Jenny yet from like Black? I don't wanna look like Jenny. I wanna look like Lisa. I wanna look like Lisa. Except when Lisa is not like wearing braids, those braids were god awful. I am so sorry. Like, whoever braided your hair, girl, they did you. Dirty. So the next step in like their makeup thing is like their cheeks and their lips. Now, I don't see them wearing eyelashes as much. They mostly just, you know, put a nice shade of like mascara on. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't have long eyelashes, so I'm trying to like make them look extra thick. And oh, look at that. Okay, cool. There's this thing where they have this thing, like this natural flush with their blush, like they have this like either rosy or peach or coral or even orange like blush. It's usually in accordance to like their eye look of the, of the time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into my actual um, palette with this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna dust. Cause I don't have blushes guys, I'm sorry. Like I have to go invest in blushes. So I'm gonna just dip into my eyeshadow palette and um, pack on and the way they, oh, my God. okay, cool. And the way they put their blush is not really like on the outer corners here, like it's right on the top of the apples of your cheeks. So I don't have like a, um, I don't have a, what's this thing called? I don't have an orange peach, I only have like this gloss. A lot of their makeup is matte, but I was like, let me, let me, let me put some moisture somewhere. And is this ombre, like your top lip, and bottom lip have very little product. Is that it is? I set my face with the Glow Fix from Revolution London. Oh. I think I'm done. So this makeup look is complete. And here is your finished look. I know I changed settings, but I wanted to show you how it looked like in natural lighting. I didn't really want like the studio light in my room. I'm still looking at the lighting in like my workspace here. So, I don't hate it. I actually kind of like it. I really, really like the outcome. I could have done it better, um, given the kind of equipment that I have. It's not really like really set for Korean style makeup, but I think I, I achieved the look pretty well. I tried to change it to the office that they tend to wear um, in their pictures and stuff like that. Like they have bangs, um, they have like these pretty like asymmetrical like jewelry, and they always have to like have these like nice sweaters and um, little like collared neck, like turtlenecks, so you like look even like cuter I think the makeup is very very thin like I don't have a lot of foundation on and the concealer is so thin as well I feel like I didn't cover all of the spots that I usually like concealing and covering on my face um, the blush is I kind of like it I actually like this like almost like blush drunk ish look to my face the eyeshadow is a bit different I feel like again I could have done it way better <laughs> like you know any makeup look could be but I think I achieved the essence of Korean style makeup it's very like low-key you're cute you're pretty you're I woke up like this basically type makeup yeah I think it works kind of well on black skin don't you that 
was all from me guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you guys could follow along in all the things that I had to say but yeah um, this was like my video today I'm gonna continue down this vein for quite a bit because I've been wanting to explore this vein of makeup I've always been interested in it Christy Tibo. please do share my content with everyone guys do comment down below what other style of like Indian or Asian makeup that Indian Do comment down below about any other South Korean or Asian styles of makeup or makeup like genre or trends that you want me to try out on black skin. I've really been inspired by like a makeup channel called Miss Darcy. She is like this, I think she's Canadian. And she always also does like Korean like beauty and stuff like that. So I always want to see if it looks great on my skin tone. So yeah, that's really all from me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys really do share my content and we grow this beautiful beautiful channel I hope to see you guys soon and soon as in like in the next couple of weeks and hopefully that the construction doesn't mess with my shooting time Like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell down below so our TVEC family can forever grow I love you guys so 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 much I'm gonna see you next time with another um, trending video or something I don't know <laughs> This beautiful desert rose is out <laughs>